Yesterday, he was an unknown South African student, but by last night, Michael Hendricks had become a global internet sensation, not because of anything he's said, but more what he's done, and that is smile. In fact, grin during a speech given by Barack Obama in Cape Town. The President of the United States... As President America, Obama took Barack to the stage Obama. yesterday, one young man seemed close to exploding with excitement. The President talked of how Nelson Mandela's courage had moved the world. As he spoke, Mikhail Hendricks's grin was getting the world talking. You Twitter erupted, with most people agreeing it was hard to focus on what the president was saying because of hashtag red tie guys winning smile. Take a look and decide for yourself. I knew this was an experience that they would never forget. I knew that they now appreciated a little bit more. Throughout the speech, his enthusiasm was evident. Hendricks, whose schooling is paid for by a government fund for underprivileged, gifted children, children, has big dreams. He says he wants to serve his people, just like Barack Obama. Meeting his idol is a dream come true for Hendricks, whose newly updated Facebook profile reflects his adoration for the Obamas. And there are many similarities between the pair. He wants to study law, just like Obama. And like the president, Hendricks was raised by his grandparents after his father walked out. The question everyone wants an answer to, just what was Hendricks smiling about? And Red Tie Guy, otherwise known as Michael Hendricks, joins us now from Cape Town in his red tie. And with this smile, thank you so much for coming on, Michael. <laughs> just tell us, you can give, us, give voice to that red tie. What was going through your mind when you were listening to that speech? Why were you smiling so much? Good evening. Um, thanks for having me on your show tonight. Whoa. Uh... Barack Obama was in front of me, you know, my hero. <laughs> that is what was going through my mind. <laughs> I, for as much, I was trying my utmost to focus on, on the brilliant speech that he delivered for, for all those who tweeted oh, that you. I was not with him, I was, but just, just the idea of him being that much inches away from me, it, it, was, it was an amazing experience and I just could not contain myself. And when did you realize that you had become an internet sensation? That's a very good question. Um, from what I've read that it started last night and last night after the event, as you can imagine, after all that excitement and fidgeting, I was very tired. So I could not go and, and check out Facebook mm -hmm. or Twitter. And then this morning I received a call that uh, the guy with the red tie is, is trending on Twitter. And I'm like, OK, <laughs> let's go check it out. And I did just that. And I was, I don't know, shocked at the responses. And it was amusing at most. Uh, and I, I was completely overwhelmed by the response and, and, and the. Do you, I mean, you, you obviously are a big fan of Barack Obama's, but do you see similarities in your lives? Um, I don't think uh, fan is, is the right word there. I think, uh, you know, I see him as my hero, my personal hero. I, I have great admiration for him, and, and definitely there are many similarities, um, as you have before mentioned, such as the fact that um, both of our fathers, you know, were absent for most of our lives. Uh, we both grew up with our grandparents most of the time. I mean, do you think, can I, I interrupt and ask you, I mean, do, you, do you, you hope that you will follow in his political footsteps in South Africa? I mean, clearly some of the Nelson Mandela coverage that we've seen has talked about future generations not necessarily fulfilling what Nelson Mandela would have wanted. What do you think about that? Firstly, um, Tata Mandela uh, has, great, has laid a great foundation for us, for the new generation, and f I am rather excited to take up where he has left off and, and further this country. Uh, according to me, South Africa has the potential to be great, and to be part of that greatness would be, would be one of my goals in life, you know? Very good luck with that, Mikhail, and um, keep on smiling, I guess. Thanks. Thanks, Krishnan. Puts everyone in a good mood. 